Hey, how's it going? Just another one of these uh, sequence of the end times, uh, Psalm 140. Um, again, the sequence is deliverance or salvation, a time of wrath, plagues, great tribulation, America being destroyed, a battle in the Middle East, and then the kingdom. And so where God's right hand dwells. Psalm 140, deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. So Job 9.24 says the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. And so this again tells us that it's the times that we live in now because God's elect are in all nations. And so if the earth is in the hands of wicked people, this verse is consistent, you know, with God's elect being delivered from the evil man that has rulership over the entire earth. So right away we get deliverance, salvation right off the bat, check. Which imagine mischief in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. And we see that America just constantly, literally fighting everybody like physically or, you know, financially and all that kind of stuff even spiritually. Uh, verse three, they have sharpened their tongue like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Job 9, 24. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. The proud have hit a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. So they're setting like traps. It's like they're trying to deceive, you know, and all that kind of stuff to go along with them. Verse 6, I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. Verse 7, O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Verse 8, Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Verse 10, Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. So this is talking about any kind of fire that a person is killed with, whether it's the other nations burning America or Christ returning with his elect to destroy with fire, they're never going to rise up again. So this that this one verse debunks all the Hebrew Israelite nonsense. And so it's an everlasting destruction. And we're taught that everywhere. And when God destroys in the end times, it's permanent. And so just know that. And so um, that they rise not up again. And so... They're here in this earth realm and they're destroyed permanently. And so we've got salvation. Now we get judgment, you know, and plagues and burning and destruction. And Matthew 10, 28 supports that body and soul are going to be destroyed, you know, here in uh, in this destruction. And so just be aware of that. Um, and we're told that explicitly in other places, even in the Psalms, that body and soul are going to be destroyed. And so just know that. <clears throat> Verse 11, let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. So this is God cleaning up his entire left-hand side, you know, who are going to be tagged with the mark of the beast. Um, verse 12, I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the rights of the poor. And so just know that the God of the Bible from beginning to end is enamored with the poor, even though that's hard to believe with the world that we live in. Just know that that's a fact. Verse 13, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. There's a reference to the kingdom of heaven. So we have salvation, we have plagues, we have wrath, and then we have uh, the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the rights of the poor, and then uh, the kingdom. And so it always follows the same sequence, you know, always. And so uh, this is an amazing thing, and it makes logical sense, too, that God's ambition is going to identify all the people on his left-hand side. I call them actors, but whatever you want to call them, the beast, um, all that kind of stuff. Um destroy them permanently, and then those who remain, that's who the kingdom's prepared for. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.